Hey everyone, how's it going? So I'm going to do this video that I've been meaning to do for a while and just I haven't had time to do it but some people have been telling me I should make it on YouTube here so I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is going to be an update, uh, what is it, May? May 2013 update of the Disney Pixar Blu-ray collection. This is everything that's available thus far and the ones I'm going to show you are like the most robust packages you can get in single release, meaning that they're all the 3D mega combo packs. And like, you know, for Toy Story and some of the other ones, of course, you can get just regular Blu-ray or just DVD or whatever. But these are the big combo packs. And if I don't show you a 3D release, that's because it hasn't been released in 3D yet or whatever. So there's been a lot of releases and, and actually the Toy Story trilogy has been released uh, as like a triple pack box set thing too so I don't have that these are the single releases but uh, yeah that's about all I have to say about that you can see this big stack here I'm just gonna go through all of them and I'm gonna go in order of oldest to newest movie so we're gonna start with Toy Story here and then we'll end with the Pixar short films collections and I think that I have these in the right order but maybe some are out of place I'm not sure but Here's the Toy Story 3D four pack slipcover. And here's the set itself. And we've got the 3D Blu ray and the regular Blu ray and the DVD and then the digital copies right here hidden. And then next up we got A Bug's Life. There's been two different cover variations. This is the newest one, of course. And I actually like the older one better, but... Oh well, I have the newer one, and it's not that bad. Because the older one showed all of the characters on one thing, you know? Kind of like the old VHS releases, and I thought that was kind of better. But they're going with this, like, half... Half and half design, where they have the title and then the characters. It's kind of odd why they're doing that, but... Anyways, here's the Blu-ray, there's your DVD, disc one, you see there, and it's because it's disc one from the two-disc DVD pack. And then here we have Toy Story 2, I did not pay that ridiculous price. There's your slip, and there's your movie. We got 3D, we got regular, and then we got the DVD, and then the digital copy hiding behind all the papers. And then next up, we got this very recent release, the Monsters, Inc. Super Mega 5 Disc Ultra Super Ridiculous Pack of Fun. Pretty nice set, though, I must say. And we got the three, wait, no, this is just the regular Blu-ray. This is the 3D, interesting order. Here's the bonus disc of Blu-ray. Then this is the DVD, and then this is the digital copy. And then here is Finding Nemo. It's about time they got this thing released. Nice how I got this from Amazon. See all that? Nice shiny damage there. Kind of bugs me. That's the benefit of buying in the stores. You can make sure you get a nice slip cover. But anyways, here is the package. It's a pretty nice cover. And we've got your 3D Blu-ray, regular Blu-ray, bonus Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. And that's an ugly color for a digital copy. But who cares? And next up we got The Incredibles. And I have no idea why, out of all of the Disney Pixar ones, this isn't on 3D. Because it seems like, you know, this one has the most action and everything that... A lot of people would pick that up in 3D, I would think. But anyways, we have Mon er, The Incredibles. It has a four-disc set. And here is Blu-ray number one. Bonus Blu-ray, the DVD, and the digital copy. And here we have Cars. 
which is not my favorite movie of all of these, but it's all right. And this has a pretty, pretty plain release. I would think that they'll have a, you know, 3D release at some point. Who knows, though? There's your Blu-ray, and then here's your DVD. There is no digital copy with this. And I don't know the super mega cars in Cars 2 and that whole... There's a box set with all of them in one, and that might have digital copy, but I'm not sure. Anyways, here we have Ratatouille, another kind of plain release. But when I say a plain release, it's really not that plain. I mean, it does have a Blu-ray and a DVD. Really, you should only ex you really only need just a Blu-ray. So, anyways, here's your Blu-ray, and then here's a DVD. Nice shiny DVD. And next we have this release of Wall-E, which I like a lot. There was an older release that had like the thicker packaging and came with the digital copy. This one comes with the DVD. I kind of like this though. This is really shiny like. And it has a nice slip cover too. So you can see the nice shine on the back there. So this is Wally. -E. And this is a two disc Blu-ray and DVD pack. I'll show you the back. And here's the Blu-ray disc one. Blu-ray disc 2 with the bonus features, and then here's the DVD. And next up we have another Mega Ultra 5 disc pack, even though it says 4 disc. This is interesting, because it does actually have 5 discs. But, um, yeah, this is up, and you can see there it says 5 discs, so... Odd sticker there. I never understood that, and maybe they fixed it for the more recent releases of this. Because I this is like a first run pickup that I, I got it right when it came out. So here's the 3D, here's the regular disc one, and here's the bonus features, Blu-ray, here's your DVD and your digital copy. And yet another Mega Ultra 5 disc pack. This is Toy Story 3. Kind of a plain looking cover. I liked the other one on the non-3D releases a little bit better, but whatever. Still really shiny like and lenticular and embossed and all of that good stuff that you don't really need. And here's the 3D, Blu-ray 1, Blu-ray 2, DVD, and digital copy. Getting towards the end here, but here is Cars 2. And to be honest with you, I have never even really seen this movie. I've like put it in a couple times and tried to watch it, but it's just, I don't know, I think it's really crappy, just a money maker type of sequel that they really did, didn't need to put out. Really kind of uninspired, I think, but that's just my opinion. But I guess I shouldn't say that since I haven't watched the whole thing, but I don't know. I got really bored just trying to watch it, so. Oh, well, here we go. Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray feature, and Blu-ray bonus. And we got the DVD and the digital copy. And this is the last movie. This is Brave. Another super mega pack. Lenticular slipcover, five discs, you know the idea. So here it is, the 3D, disc one, disc two, Blu-ray, Disney DVD, and then the digital copy. And so that does it for the movies. Brave is the most recent release. Now we just gotta wait for Monsters University, which at this point has not come in theaters yet, so we got a little while for that to come out. And now we get to the short films, and this is the Cars Tune Mater's Tall Tales Blu-ray release. It doesn't have every single one, I don't think, because they've made some more episodes of this, I believe, since this was released. But it has, um, how many does it have? 
I don't know, it has a lot. So, if you want to read those, this is how many it has. Although it is a really short release, it's only 38 minutes overall. Really short. But, anyways, kind of ridiculous for the price. I mean, it's, it's kind of like 20 bucks retail, and it's only 38 minutes. But here's the Blu-ray, and then here's the DVD, no digital copy. And then a couple of my favorites coming up here. We got the Pixar Short Films Collection, Volume 1. This is my favorite out of the two. Had some really nice classic short films here. There's the list, if you can read it and you want to pause it. And there we go. And here's the Blu-ray. And then we got the DVD right there. And then last but not least, we have the Pixar Short Films Collection Volume 2. And I don't know if a lot of anyone else who owns this has noticed, but it's really annoying that they don't have a play all feature on this one. So you have to actually pick out each short film and watch it individually. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you're just so lazy. Why don't you just, you know, use the remote? It's not that big of a deal. But, you know... When you want to sit down and relax and watch a movie, you don't really want to sit around and fumble with the remote. So it would have been nice. I mean, this one has a play all feature, and it's something they really should have put on here. And on the DVD, it has the Disney Fast Play or whatever, so you actually can watch them all in a row. But on the Blu-ray, you can't. So that's kind of a downfall. But anyways, here's the Blu-ray. And there's the DVD. And I, like, I do like the green color on this. It looks pretty cool. And with all of that, there's an updated video of all of my Disney Pixar Blu-ray releases. So I'll probably, I don't know, maybe I'll do another update in a few years or something. I'm not